This video will be about password policies and specifically in use with domain services for Windows. Now domain services for Windows, when you install it, it will create three default password policies, three, three standard pa password policies. And uh, the names of those are right here, your built-in domain password policy, your default password policy, and domain password policy. Now, the, if you need to modify one, this is really the only one you want to modify, a domain password policy. These other two are assigned for specific tasks. Uh, this one here, the default password policy, is specifically for your workstations when you join them to the domain. Now, if uh, the really you don't want to touch these top two, uh, the default password policy, it might be uh, permissible to, to make an adjustment as far as expiration uh, dates. Uh, if you change your workstations uh, so that they do not reset their passwords, the workstation passwords, every 30 days, say you, dis you change that to 60 days or 90 days or you disable it completely, then you will need to reflect that in the default password policy. As, as far as its expiration uh, times. Uh, otherwise, the domain password policy is the one that's set. Now, you might not be using this domain password policy. Uh, that all depends on one specific setting. And let me just pull this up right here. If we have in our, we have in our Etsy app Novell XAD container, this XAD.ini file. Now let's look at that. Th this has some configuration information. It's very important, very very important to have this file. Do not delete it. Do not remove it. And then on top of that, it uh, I mean it has like your specific domain information, like the GUID and SID. This is all unique to your domain. And then uh, this is some good information in here. This is actually used by DSFW. And specifically for passwords, this XAD retain password policies is the piece that you uh, will need to key in on. If this is set to yes, then your this password policy here, domain password policy, is not used. If it is set to no, then it is used. So real easy, what you can do, if you just want to know, just cat the Etsy op novel xad xad.ini and uh, GRE crep uh, for the XAD retain. Let's just uh, oh, let me if I spell grep right, I could do this. There you go. You can find out if uh, if if you're going to be using the the standard password policies that come with DSFW or your own password policies. Now, if you continue to if you have this set to no and you're using the standard one, when you create GPOs. The password policies that are created in the GPOs will be used. Uh, uh, with set to with this XAD set to yes, those will not be used. So just some uh, a no something of note here. Um, let's also let's just close that down. Let's uh, look at so the location of where these are at is in the Novell system password policies where. If you're using your own, you can put them really wherever you want, but generally it's security and password policies. Now, now let's look at it in iManager. We've got uh, iManager, we'll click on our password policies. By default, it always comes right here to password policies security. We can see our assignments. We have assigned at the Novell and then at the B level also. Now, if you're, fam if you're not familiar with password policies, uh, they're very similar to uh, to uh, login scripts as far as the the level of, of execution and the, the order of execution of those. So if it is assigned to the user, uh, which you can do, uh, th that assignment to the user will take precedence. Um, that is that is the one that is used. If it's assigned to a container, specifically a container that's not partitioned, all objects within that container, not subcontainers, but just objects within that container, will use uh, that password policy. And then, if it's assigned at a partition, all objects within the partition 
they, they will be using that password policy. So that the whole container and partition piece, that is something that uh, sometimes can confuse people. Just remember, if it's a, a, a non-partitioned container, only the objects directly underneath it, no subcontainers under it, will receive be using that password policy. Now, a way just to see if your user is using that password policy is to come in here and just verify the password policy. So, like C1, no password policy assigned. If we click on a1, so we don't have one specifically assigned to a w to the A level. Let's go here. But since it's not partitioned, and again, you can see the little mark there for a part the emblem for a partition. We can see that this is using the Novell partition, the UP or U UP Novell uh, policy. Now, if we click on a user B. we can see the UPB. So what we're going to kind of concentrate on here is with the, uh, the specifically the user that does not have a password policy assigned. Now let's bring that down and bring this down. Uh, a few LDAP searches. Uh, if you're familiar with LDAP search, uh, there, I've actually there's a, a great hit on this. Uh, the different types of LDAP searches, I'm sure you're familiar with the simple binds, but with DSFW you can also do a SASL. Uh, this is the the SASL bind right here, the method, and then there's a couple other uh, binds that you can do the GSS um, SP Nego or SP Nego bind and the GSS API. So if you have an application that's using a specific um, method, y these are ways you can duplicate that with the LDAP search. And these two, just as a note, these two require the K in it for the administrator. So we're going to do this one right here. So if we just export this, the LDAP comp, now if we do a search, and I've got a couple searches uh, all set up here, uh, what we're going to do is um, look at the password policy assignments, specifically the um, default ones just so you you can see what happens here so we've got the um, just did an LDAP search right here for uh, the sys system novell uh, basic password policies and had to escape it there and this is the attribute th that uh, when we're looking in iManager let me just bring it back up again iManager and we're, we're looking at this as the assignments uh, again, if we just go right in here, we can see it on, off on the policy assignments tab. That is keying off of this attribute, NSIM assignments. Now, or assignments DN, I should say. Now, this does not really have any effect on your password policy. If we remove that, it still will continue to function. If we go and add it to another object, it will still continue to function the same way. It's just more informational for from the iManager perspective to see what it's assigned. If we go and, s uh, and we can do the same for the securities container. We can see our assignments, and specifically, um, so we can see you know what 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 just what is assigned to what. Now let's the what the attribute that we really need to key in on. Is the one is the uh, NSPM password policy DN, and that will be on our container. So let's do a search. So LDAP search dash Y um, this the dash Q just so you don't see the actual method that's being used. It just anyway, these are just switches in here to minimize what we see, just so we see our results. We're we're searching directly on our O equals Novell. It's the, a base search, so we're just sticking with that, and we're looking for. We're going to return these uh, the NSPM password policy DN and the GP link. Now, GP link is for your GPO object. Wh which GPO are you using? And by default, you should have one assigned at the container where your partition is 
or where your domain is located. So and this is since our domain is located at the O equals Novell, that is where it'll it'll be. So we, we should be able to see see this. Again, and as we can see the password policy. If you want to do the same thing, we'll, well, we'll leave that on there. You generally don't, we won't see anything here. So OU equals um, B comma O equals Novell. So again, we do not have a GPO link, so we did not re, um, get, get the GPO information back, and that's perfectly fine in, in this uh, scenario. If we created a GPO and linked it, then that would show up here. Uh, and then, but we do have a password policy assigned, so we, we can see that. Now, do we have a password policy assigned to, to B or to C, I should say? No, we don't. So we are going to have a problem with C users. So a few different ways on verifying that. So with iManager and with the LDAP search. Now let's go ahead and uh, just log in with a user the inside. So specifically, we will do C1. We go to log in, uh, we're going to get an error. Cannot log us in. Two possible reasons why that that is and usually if the first one isn't there then it's the second one won't be there either but it's uh we have let's just do a search on that specific user cn equals c1 so we're bringing it back we do not have a supplemental credentials and that is used for authentication and we do not and we do not have that because we do not have a password policy assigned so let's go ahead bring up iManager let's assign it we can assign it either to the container or in this case let's just assign it directly to the object that we're gonna log in as so only C1 has a password policy assigned Again, well, if we do a search again on this user, we do not see the supplemental credentials. Therefore, we will continue to have a problem logging in. So, in order to to resolve that part, we just need to log in either with an LDAP client or if you have a Novell client uh, that uh, you just it just needs to be logged in. So, the, our problem is our universal password is not populated. Uh, so we just need to come up with a way to populate it. Again, L using an app, LDAP application, logging in as your user that you've, let you've used in before, or uh, a Novell client, or from the workstation, or from the server, and do an NDS login. So we'll do c1.c.novell. And here we go. We'll be log in. Now let's do another search. Let's uh, specifically. Uh, how do we spell supplemental credentials? There we go. Now we've got the supplemental credentials. Now this user should be able to log in. So let's go ahead and we're able to log in. So we talked about, and just to recap, we talked about. Uh, password policies the different types of password policies where you the specifically where to look for uh, re and retaining uh, to see which how wh how if you're using the the standard uh, password policies that come with DSFW specifically this XAD retain password policies if what if it's set to no then you're using the standard ones if it's set to yes you're using your own and if you remember during the install, there's a retain password policies. That if you click on that, that is what is uh, setting this this value here. So whichever one you're using, and then making sure that you have your UP populated so that your user can authenticate. All right. I hope this has been helpful, and uh, uh, please uh, look forward to some of my next videos that will be coming out shortly. Thanks.